Okay, I've been wanting to make this video for a very long time. So, here we go. Why do I still use Native Instruments products? I promise you, I'm not being paid to say this, but I have some thoughts on why I am still using Native Instrument products. They're just simply amazing, which is why I continue to use their products I've been using them ever since the MK1, the machine MK1 came out. It's been out for a little bit before I came across, but there were no other products out. That was the only hardware, well, for beat production, should I say. I think the tractor was out at that time and whatever else that may have been out, but the machine MK1 it was the only one of its kind that had been out. How many years ago was that? Sheesh. I don't know. Some of the first videos that I've done using that product is still on this channel. So I, I wouldn't encourage you to go look that up because those are old. I was like 1.5 machine, 1.5, 1.8, something like that. <laughs> but, but anyway, I just want to come on because I'm actually pretty fascinated with the response that I am continuously getting on my older videos about machine. There are still questions that people have and them videos are like three, four, five, seven years ago. And wow. And it's, it's remarkable, which tells me that machine is obviously a good product because people are still buying these products or still interested or maybe you didn't you're not buying but you always had a question or you you've never gotten your answered your your question answered and then you stumbled across my video and then i get the type of response where people are saying man thank you i've been looking for this answer i've been looking for the way to do this blah 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 and you're the only one that explained it this kind of way but then I have some people who just think that I'm, I take too long to get to the point. I don't know. I like to explain things in a way that you understand. I like to put things in perspective, scenarios, beat making scenarios. That's, that's just me. I like to make sure people understand things. Sorry. And so I, I think a lot of people appreciate that. I, I would say the channel was growing and I definitely appreciate you guys for subscribe to the channel all the likes you know just things that you guys do i just want to take a quick second to say that but anyway going back to why i love machine or native instruments and products i mean so i, I want to say that it is probably the reason why i use programs like studio one sort of and let me explain well studio one is not really heavy in instruments right it's not a lot of options there but they are really great for the workflow the editing capabilities the macros the customization you can do in there and just how you able to just how things are set up like one of them is using contact the contact player and that is one of those things that i use a lot i am i love the contact player I love the complete control player as well. You can only put one instrument in there at a time. So it's, you know, but the contact allows you to put up to 16 MIDI instruments in there or virtual instruments and only using that one instance and how it is set up in the way that allows you to route certain things out. Now, I, I would admit that if you're new to this platform, it is a little bit complicated, which is why I do videos but it's pretty cool how it's set up versus other dolls and the way that those dolls hand do things such as this where I have multi timbral outputs or just simply multi multiple outputs where you can assign them anywhere you want. I think Studio One does it the best for this situation in which is, we're not talking about Studio One right now. We, I'm showing you guys why I love and still love native instruments. I just think they're easy. Like 
first of all, their products are great. I said that right. I already said that. I, I just think that they, one of the main reasons why I stick around as long as I have is be, because of the versatility. I like to think that I'm a versatile producer. And I think I show that on my streams. Yes, I do live streams where I make beats live from scratch. And in those streams, I am always pulling for a, pulling for a contact or something native instruments. You know what I mean? If I'm not using contact, if I'm not using complete control, if I'm not using massive or anything like that, I'm always pulling for some type of effect plugin. Just the other day, I was working on this beat for a client that I have, and I'm using the guitar from another company, but I definitely pulled for the Guitar 6 for the effects, and it did exactly what I needed to do. No problem. All in one deal for Native Instruments. You know what I mean? Like stuff like that. I'm always pulling for massive. Yeah, I you know there's just i have my my faves or whatnot but i use a quite a bit of them and i think it just depends on what i'm working on so that's that's my thing like the, it don't matter what i'm working on i'm always pulling for something i might be pulling for oh there's another one one of my faves i i love pulling for the mint base or the prime the prime base is it's like okay even before that the rick and becker was my favorite and then they came up with prime base and i think prime base was like kind of like the rick and becker vibes or whatever a little bit more you know and then they came out with this other one this other base that they have and i can't remember the name of that because it's still kind of new in my head i've always never remember mint i think it's that's what it is mint and I, I might be wrong about that but the point is <laughs> the point is i i think their products are are amazing which allows me to use dolls such as studio one because they don't have that much going on in terms of like instruments or even effects so native instruments like I said, I, I'm not being paid to say this, but I've been wanting to make a video like to just show my gratitude. You know, I guess I'm just saying I appreciate Native Instruments, Native Instruments for releasing products that are quality. You know what I mean? If I'm working on orchestral music, there's going to be definitely Native Instruments. Some type of Native Instruments something. I'm, I'm going to be searching, searching for some brass instruments some of the string of course i use those like religiously you know what i mean one of the things i love about using strings or brass is the articulations i'm always going after that and the fact that key switches talks to the articulation so say for instance i'm needing a legato or staccato or tremolo you know what i mean for any situation like that where i'm switching up all I got to do is put in key switches and then the switch up immediately on the same instrument. Then it, if you don't know what key switches is, it's just basically a octave lower or octave higher. I think it just depends on what instruments you're, you're using. But in the lower register on your keyboard, you have to toggle to that to activate those key switches and just plug them in like you would play, you know, a note on your keyboard or you can just pencil it in so it can change to the articulation and it does it for you like automatically i think that's amazing i've seen people have staccato one instrument they'll pull another instrument the same instrument but they want that to be legato you know i've seen people do that and you could certainly do that i think i did that a few times but the key switches is where it is but what i'm saying is is just ability just because I'm able to do that, I think that's dope. Now, is Native Instruments the best? No, I, I've had my fair share of, of errors, 
over the years of owning Native Instrument products, you know, I have had to reinstall my products probably like one time during the entire course. And man, I had this stuff forever. It was one time every, you know, some things fell apart. No problem. That's because first of all, I was dealing with a hard drive that failed on me and I had to get everything back and running. But during that time, there was updates that was happening from Native Instruments and then, you know, different drive. So, you know, things got to discontinue, whatever, whatever the case might be. But yeah, I think I think y'all get the gist. So that's to hopefully answer some of the questions that I get from you guys about the quality and like how I stand behind. I I haven't did like many videos where I'm pointing each thing like I used to in the past, but I'm certainly using Native Instruments in my workflow when I'm on my live streams. Those be the most creative, you know, the, the creative, the, the creativity flows on the live streams because I'm able to talk to you guys, interact, that type of thing. So, yeah. So right now, this is the date of this video. We have machine MK3, that's out. I still use it religiously. Yes, indeed it is. Matter of fact, that was a part of my, my project. The, the one I'm working on. I actually just sent it off to the client to, to get approval to see if they like it or not. But uh, yeah, the machine is definitely a part of that, of that workflow and everything just works as a plug-in oh my gosh that's the courses i get how do you get it to be a plug-in in, in, in inside the doll <laughs> and i am answering those questions one by one and it, it is it never fails non-stop that is the main questions because you guys see me do it and so i get those questions there, there's a lot of people who use it as standalone i use it standalone sometimes but i feel like the power with using machine in conjunction with the doll. I think that's where it, that's where it is, at least for me. But you got to understand the workflow of machine. That is one thing I, I do tell people. It's not linear workflow. It's not the same as working in a doll. A doll has that linear left to right, boom, boom, boom. Lay things out. You can see what's going on, move stuff around. Machine is done a little bit differently. You know, and I might be able to help you understand that if you subscribe to the channel. So I hope that this talk helps some people. I stand behind them. I think Native Instruments is doing an amazing job with their products. The, the, it's just quality to me. There are some people who don't, who disagree. That's fine. That's totally fine. Everybody has their, their own taste you know but uh you know there are a million companies that are coming out with a million products they are flashy they look good they target people like you and i and it makes you want to dive in and i have some of those plugins as, as well but i'm always reaching for native instruments something if i'm not using any of the instruments i might be using one of my favorite reverbs it's called rom by native instruments if i need reverb i'm always pulling for that one at first it was the rc48 or the rc24 those were the two the two reverbs i used to use at that time i still use a replica you know from time to time so it's a delay plug but ROM is it's dope to me. It's, it's amazing stuff. And it's easy. You know, simple, easy. It works. I'm cool. You know, other people use other things. That's fine. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, yeah. Native Instruments is still, still the GOAT to me in my eyesight. So I will... It's not because they send me stuff. I promise you guys, like I am, I am at least on my channel. I try to be 
as authentic as possible, as transparent as possible. If I believe in a product, you're going to always see me use it. I'm going to talk about it. Yeah, I have affiliate links in the description. Of course. Absolutely. And I will tell you, visit the description box and click on one of those links because it helps me out. You know, if you're in, into Native Instruments, you want to get involved or you, you're looking to catch their sales. They're always doing sales, which is another cool thing. I'm going to tell you that. Absolutely. I'm a content creator. I got bills too. I got to pay these lights. You know, it, it takes time to edit these videos and do these streams where I'm using electricity and internet. I have, I have to pay for those things. So yeah, I'm gonna tell you to visit the comment section, but that's not the reason why I am making this video. And that's the reason, that's not the reason why I'm telling y'all how much I love Native Instruments. Hell, that's not even the reason why I do these live streams that I do on my channels where I start from scratch and build a beat up to the point where it's solid. You know what I'm saying? It's not the reason why I do these live streams and I interact with you guys back and forth. You know what I mean? I do love to make this YouTube thing the thing and I'm working towards that where it, it, it becomes a career. But the videos that I make here on this platform is to show you guys the authenticity the authenticity of where I am with the workflow of making music, being creative and the products that I use to help me get to where I'm trying to go. Native Instruments is a part of that journey. And like I say, I, I don't do this. I, I'm not getting paid to say this. And of course, the video is being monetized. Why not? <laughs> but it, this still is a way of me letting you guys know what it really is for me and where all of this sits in my heart. So I hope you guys took this in a positive, in positive way. You know what I mean? And um, go make some music. Be creative. Remember, lifestyle is governed by art. Be culture. My name is Ella. Maria. Trying to think of something else I could say, but I don't have anything else I want to say. Otherwise, I will be penalized. Me and your videos alone. All right.